His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. I don't know if you caught any of this yesterday, but Alan was with us. And it was back in, was it the spring? That, that he we, took his DNA test? Yeah, we, yeah. All, we all did the My Heritage uh, DNA. And we did the swabs and we learned about ourselves. And Alan, Alan did as well. And then all of a sudden, it was just a few weeks ago, he gets this email. And the email says, to the point, and I'll just paraphrase it, Hey, we're family. You've got a brother in France. Sure enough, he does. He had no idea he existed. And so our uh, general manager, Alan Henderson, uh, was able to catch up with his brother yesterday on FaceTime and spent some time with him with the help of an interpreter. Your, mo- your mother wanted to come back to America with my dad? Oui, mais ma grand-mère ne l'a empêché parce qu'elle voulait pas se retrouver toute seule. Oui, bien sûr. His grandmother um, stopped the daughter from going to the United States Be- because, because she, had she didn't lost, want to be alone. She had lost her son yeah. in the camp. Yeah, it was a concentration camp. You see, Alan's dad and his brother uh, Andre's dad was in World War II. And that's where Alan and Andre's dad met up with Andre's mom. Mm-hmm. And then Andre came into the picture. And all of a sudden, you know, dad goes back home and lives life in America. Alan's born about 10 years later. And here you, you flash ahead some 60 some odd years and boom. They meet each other through a DNA swab, which is amazing. His French brother, Andre, has felt like there was a hole in his life, you know, his entire life. And he's been searching for this family and praying to God that he could find this family. And here, our Alan Henderson is the answer to that prayer. This is such a movie. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for it to come out in the big screen, man. (laughs) We're calling the Irwin brothers or something, you know? Hey, hey, Stephen Kendrick movie here. Yeah. It's an inspiring, especially when both brothers, Alan and his brother Andre, are in evangelical Christian ministry, which in France, that's a big deal Mm -hmm. because it's not, you know, we have all these freedoms where we are and you can, you can turn around and two blocks down the road, there's a church. It's not like that in France where Andre is. And so he's like living on the front lines, which is so cool. So hopefully soon they'll get together. And they both love plaid shirts, Jim. And they both have the same identical tuxedo cat. What? <laughs> Man, this, this is so typical. It's such a typical story. A typical story. Come <laughs> yeah. on. Wait a minute. He's going to bring him over here. He's going to take my job, isn't he? Andre, yeah. the French oh, guy? Oh, I can see how the movie is going. You know. <laughs> I think you're kind of on to something whoa. there. <laughs>